In this video, we will give an overview of the cross-team DevOps effectiveness scorecard dashboard template in Atlassian Analytics. This dashboard template uses data from the DevOps tables to show key DevOps research and assessment, or DORA metrics, to pinpoint areas for improvement across your teams. You can customize the six dashboard controls to filter the charts by a specific date range, change how the dates are grouped through the date bucket, filter by a specific project category to group your teams by, filter by specific issue types, choose labels for the charts to ignore, and even choose which issue types should be considered bugs. The quick overview section gives you a view of the median issue cycle time, number of issues completed, deployment frequency, and number of bugs raised in the past four weeks across the teams selected in the project category. Cycle time refers to how long it takes for work to be completed, while deployment frequency is the average number of production deployments per week. The next section of the dashboard aims to answer the question of how efficiently are we delivering value to our users. These charts help identify the number of teams each month with an issue cycle time over or under seven days, the median development cycle time, median issue cycle time, and median PR cycle time across teams. Then you can dive into a specific team's issue count and median cycle time to help you identify areas for improvement using the cycle time per team chart. The next few charts of this section show the deployment frequency metrics across the teams. You can see the number of teams that have four or more deployments or underfloor deployments each month. Then you can see the successful production deployment rate, the median deployment time, and the maximum deployment time of the teams. The number of production deployments per team is an indication of the team's speed and agility when delivering work. The next section of the dashboard aims to answer the question of where are teams spending their time. The charts in this section are influenced by the four category of work controls at the bottom of the dashboard. At Atlassian, we bucket the work, or JIRA issues, into four categories. Run the business, change the business, developer productivity, and team management. We define run the business as work done to maintain the technical health of applications and run them at expected levels of security, reliability, and performance. Change the business refers to work done to create or improve customer-facing features. Developer productivity relates to efforts made to reduce development impediments and build high-leverage internal tools. Team management refers to organization development such as hiring, interviewing, onboarding, growth, performance reviews, and admin work. You can change the JIRA issue labels that map to each work category to accurately track effort spent in each category. You can see a breakdown of the time spent in each development activity across teams. Then you can use the table chart to the right to see the activity breakdown for an individual team. You can also see a count of how many teams have spent less than 50% of time reviewing work and a breakdown of the review time per individual team. Additionally, you can see the count of teams that spent less than 10% of their time maintaining day-to-day -day operations through Run the Business work, and a breakdown of the time spent running the business at an individual team level. The next section of the dashboard will help you discover if your teams have any bottlenecks that are blocking work. You can see the count of teams that have the 10% most overloaded assignees and the work currently in progress per each team. Additionally, you can see the percentage of blocked issues, the percentage of issues that have been handed over, and the percentage of issues that are stuck. Next, the dashboard will help you learn how efficiently your teams are resolving problems. You'll be able to track the number of issues opened each month that aren't bugs compared to the number of bug issues created. You'll be able to see the total number of bugs raised, the number of critical bugs, and the percentage of issues raised as a bug. In the table chart, you can see the number of bugs raised per team to help you understand the percentage of code changes that lead to failures in product which have to be fixed later on. You can view the mean time to resolution for your teams to see how long it takes teams to close bug tickets. You can see the mean number of hours needed to resolve issues with critical, high, medium, and low priorities. In the table chart, 
You can see the number of bugs closed and mean time to resolution in days for each of your teams. The last section of the dashboard includes the dashboard controls that are used to map JIRA issue labels to the four categories of work used in the charts in the Run the Business section. There is an additional control used to map a JIRA issue status to be considered as Work and Review for the Work Breakdown section. You should customize these controls to best match how your organization categorizes work. That's it for our Cross-Team DevOps Effectiveness Scorecard Dashboard Template. For more information about our other DevOps Dashboard Templates, please watch our videos on the Team DevOps Effectiveness Scorecard and Organization DevOps Effectiveness Scorecards.